Hello everyone. We have here a brass weight which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And we have an aluminium strip here which is connected to the negative terminal. That makes the brass weight positively charged and the aluminium strip um, negatively charged. You can use a voltmeter to measure the potential at each point. Um, unsurprisingly, the potential of the brass weight is um, about 6 volts and that's the EMF of the battery. And, it's, and the aluminium strip is of course uh, held at 0 volt. In between the brass weight and the aluminum strip, we also have the potential um, gradually falling from 6 volt all the way down to 0 volt. If I want to map out the 4 volt equal potential lines, I just have to look for points which have the potential of 4 volts. For example, this point, yeah, it's close enough. Um, another point, so somewhere here, about here, and another point, yeah, around here, and another point, around here. Yep, you get the idea, right? If we have mapped out enough points, then we can simply join the points with the same potential using a smooth curve and we will obtain the equipotential lines and they look something like this now that we have the equipotential lines we can start drawing the electric field lines now remember the electric field is directed from higher potential to lower potential so the field lines will, will start off from the brass weight and ends at the aluminum strip. And remember the simple rule that the fuel lines must always cut the equipotential lines perpendicularly. And since the entire brass weight um, is an equipotential surface, the fuel line must also leave the brass weight uh, perpendicularly. Similarly, the aluminum strip is also an equipotential surface. So the electric fuel lines must end off here, uh, cutting the aluminum strip at right angles. So the fuel line should look something like this. That's all. Ta-ta!